So this review video is not going to be on any new extensions or any of the ones I've shown previously, such as the Capaldi 2005, 2010, and the list goes on, and for a lot longer than it used to. But today I'm going to review perhaps the most important mod of them all. I'm going to review the TARDIS rewrite. Oh, when you're subscribed to both the TARDIS rewrite and the doors add-on, you can then go ahead and open the options menu. So this menu is where you control everything from. You have the option to change binds as, but most importantly, you can choose the interiors. Now, without any extensions, these are the two ones you are faced with, the default and the legacy. So let's go have a look at them. So here, the default and the legacy TARDIS rewrite, both featuring the same exterior. But if we go open the doors, their interior is slightly different. So I think we should look up the Capaldi one first. So this is the interior which ships with the add-on. It's very, very bare. And I don't think it's fair to judge the TARDIS rewrite based on this model because the extensions now fix all of this. However, the thing I notice most is it runs a lot smoother than the Capaldi TARDIS because there's very few textures and graphical details, just it's a bare bones interior. I have no idea what's going on with that texture. The console is very different to the Drunk Turtles add-on. Inside the TARDIS, unlike the Legacy, there is a screen that changes colour. <laughs> and you're able to open the UI and control it like this, which is a very nice feature. It is unfortunate how it looks rather not very nice. As with the Legacy TARDIS, you're able to fly it by pressing R as well. You can press T and let it into float mode. However, it does lack other features. You cannot damage the TARDIS and it will not explode when you've done so. However, it does make up for this by the ability to dematerialize by using a much more sophisticated cursor that will appear where you want to. And when it dematerializes, provided you have the vortex add-on, you can go into the time vortex. And here we are now in the time vortex. This is a big change since the original time vortex which only appeared outside the doors. However, you now have a much more interesting time vortex to look at. Of course, with the original add-on, nothing happens. There's no animations. It's just the bare bones TARDIS. But we can go ahead and land it. And when we do appear, we can fly back over and join with the other TARDIS interior. So here we are with the other interior which comes with the TARDIS rewrite add-on. It is nothing more than just the legacy TARDIS put in with the portals. And I think this really shows the difference between the two add-ons. You no longer have to press E and get teleported, but you can walk in and out. And also let's take this time to appreciate how amazing the big on the inside effect is. No other game has ever achieved it as well as this, in my opinion. Of course, the portals are glitchy on this, but the extensions will fix that, and there's pretty much no point worrying about the lack of textures. So when we come to this console, it is just, it's not even the full legacy. There are things missing from it, and uh, it, it's rather ugly. However, if we look at the 2010 TARDIS, yeah, this is all forgotten about. So here we are in the original legacy TARDIS. And what's different? Well, the biggest thing is advanced flight. The ability to have each of these buttons pressed in a specific order that would so take you up into the air. However, the feature lacks. Additionally, we can notice that there's health. So if you wish, you can shoot the console until it dies. Something I found quite interesting but never really thought about is how upon holding your cursor over certain controls, it tells you what it does. And I think this feature really should be added to the other extensions. So at the end, which add-on is really better? The original TARDIS Legacy with a variety of features, but unfortunately you do not have the bigger on the inside effect, or the TARDIS Rewrite, where you can open the doors and it's a proper TARDIS, but without many of the functionalities of this. Which is better? In my opinion, the TARDIS Rewrite. Of course it would be. The Legacy has no more extensions, there are no new add-ons coming out for this one. It's old. The Legacy is by far the most robust out of all of these add-ons. It has smooth frame rates and is this po and possible reason why it is the most subscribed out of these. But the TARDIS Rewrite is advancing in many ways. It's become much smoother, less glitchy than it was when it originally released. And of course there are many many more mods which completely change how it all looks and feels when walking about a TARDIS. But 
The thing that lets it down is the lack of features. So far you can now link to TARDIS and control it with the Sonic, but it just feels empty compared to the Legacy. It just doesn't feel like the whole thing. It doesn't feel stable is the co I think what I'm trying to say here. The TARDIS you could just jump into and fly off, but with the doors... With the doors, it just feels a bit strange. However, I believe that both of these add-ons are equally amazing in their own ways. I don't think I ever saw a TARDIS rewrite being possible. It was one thing I've always wanted when playing Garry's Mod and the TARDIS. I have so many good memories with playing them. But I never thought the portals would be possible. But it was through the genius work of Dr. Matt that it became a reality. A reality that is fantastic and definitely worth playing. The biggest criticism of the TARDIS rewrite that I have is that when I think back, the best gameplay experience I had was with the TARDIS Legacy. It was far more fun and enjoyable to play with, whereas this one is more about the TARDIS experience and going into different TARDISes and having fun equally with them. But it's just not the same, and I think that's what let this TARDIS rewrite right down. However, that's just my two years of experience of playing them. I think it's definitely worth new people who aren't haven't seen these add-ons before to subscribe to them and get into Gary's Mod right now, because you're, you're missing out, absolutely. There's no game better than Gary's Mod for Doctor Who. So that's my review, finally covered the TARDIS rewrite base. Of course it has been a long time in development and uh, hopefully more features are going to be added a lot sooner than later. But for now, thanks for watching, goodbye.